Back on effect. Um, it's biggest day in NFL. Yeah, Illuminati stuff. Um, NFL is one of the biggest um, Illuminati ties politically for the masses, um, through media, and through rigged sports numerology numbers for their system and what they need to do in their code. Um, a lot of ads, halftime shows depict symbolism of one eye. Illuminati stuff, secret society stuff, pre-predictive programming like we've been talking about. But uh, let me uh, show you guys some stuff that I was researching. And then I got another video coming right after this. But I wanted to do this for NFL. Maybe we could get some views and also we could, uh, you guys could uh, remind me about stuff from back in the day. Whether it be halftime show, uh, commercial or um, the game itself. How it just seemed weird. Because remember that one year with the New England Patriots, Atlanta was going to win. And all of a sudden, Tom Brady came back and was the biggest um, comeback in NFL history. I don't believe it. I don't believe a team can, can all of a sudden do that. It's all rigged. Trust me. It's all rigged. And it's a controlling mind manip manipulation system. I mean, I, I watch it. I love Super Bowl. Don't get me wrong. I hate to be a hypocrite, but... I see the symbolism and what everyone talks about. And uh, we're going to go through a few things. So the NFL generates billions of dollars today um, throughout the season as well. And they have stuff throughout the throughout the seasons that depict a lot of symbolism. But today it's all heavy, like super heavy. The dams are going to have to be strong today to hold all that uh, pre-predictive programming symbolism. Um, you know, uh, to confuse your mind, to um, distract you. So we're going to go through a few things of Super Bowl. And uh, here's one ad. It was an avocado commercial, and it's 30 seconds, of course, three numerology, and it's... Let's watch it. And remember, Trump had a lot of issues with Mexico and Mexicans. Let me replay it. I want to show you guys something. This one's completely blatant. And you got the triangle symbolism in the back. Sorry about the lighting. I don't know what's going on with the sun today. So, that's one ad. I actually never saw that. That's very interesting. That one's blatantly in your face. Okay. Um, I want to go to Tom Brady. Um, I'm predicting the Chiefs are going to win. Because um, Andy sacrificed one of his loved ones. So... Um, I want to do Tom Brady right now. I want to just show you guys something. How does... Um, he's a nine Super Bowl champion. I'm predicting he will never win again. And two plus one is three. Okay, the three... All right, he is in 2001 NFL draft pick. He was sixth round. Sixth round. Two, three plus three. He's not going to win again. He's not going to win again. Repeat. He's a six-time Super Bowl. He went to nine. Excuse me. Four-time. Three, Three-time MVP, of course. So, peep the numerology. Born August 3. Four plus two is six. Six for four. All the numerology is perfect for him to be the next chosen one. You get it? You see, 
Everything's scripted, man. Everything. Drew Bl Bledsoe went down week two injury. This probably wasn't a real injury. It's all rigged. It's all rigged. All right. So he won. The connection is he his first Super Bowl was after the the, the um the Twin Towers went down, right? So there's a controversial game. It's called the Tuck Rule Game. This is how I'm gonna show you. It's rigged. The Tuck Rule Game originates from the controversial game. Peep the numerology. Thirteen sixteen. That was the final number. Tom Brady was in it which initially appeared to cause a fumble, it would have certainly sealed the game for Oakland. Official review to play and eventually determined that even though Brady had seemingly halted his pass motion and was attempted to tuck the ball back in his body, it was an incomplete pass and not a fumble under the then, keyword then, effective NFL rule. So he went on and then to win. But peep this Super Bowl. This was the Super Bowl he won. Six, seven minus one is six, two, Two buildings went down, 2001. Okay, Pete. Rams favored by one, February 3rd. Look, look at the score, guys. Three, three quarters. <laughs> I'm not making it up. Mariah Carey, Illuminati woman. Coin toss was George Bush. First president to ever do it. You two, of course, was the halftime show. Heavy Illuminati ties. So... And that was Super Bowl, shoot, I can't, 34. Wow, 34, wow. So, okay, here we go with some of the, um. check it out. Look at the word they used. Remember when the power went out in the, it was the 2013 Ah, 2013, just so happens to be, right? Just so happens to be, right? Okay. And Colin Kaepernick, who ended up being one of the most polarizing figures in sports history, not just NFL. You think that was an accident, that kneeling and him out of the NFL? He's tied with the NFL. We don't even know what they negotiate or what the contract says that they they made a deal. Um, they came to um an agreement. We don't know none of the details because he's in bed with them. And everybody was picking that up when they were watching his tryouts. I, I love that. Even people that aren't, aren't into what we're into, truthers. So check it out. Play was interrupted for 34 minutes because of a 22-minute power failed with 13, 22 remaining. You get me? And peep the wording they use for the, for the outage. Emergency lights provided some illumination during the power outage. You think that's by by accident? You think it's by accident? Da da da. CBS. All C and I. All C and I. All C and damn I. Da 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 da. da. Okay. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, here's some of the um, halftime shows from the Illuminati NFL. I'm going to do a CERN video too, so look out for that. Heavy Illuminati tie. You you guys know about the interview. I got to do a video on that one. He just did a deal with NFL. A lot of people were upset about it. A lot of people said give him a chance. But let me tell you, it's not by accident. I love Jay-Z, but I already know the truth. I ain't going to put it heavy out here because I'm a hip-hop artist, so. All right, I was just giving you some. I was just giving you some ideas. Ha-ha. <laughs> Facts. Okay, check this out. 
I was doing some research on one Super Bowl a few years ago. Remember when the Rams were really good and all of a sudden the next season they sucked? Well, that wasn't an accident either. All right. Check out the final score. Check out the final score of the um sorry about the finger thing. 13-3. Three threes. Once again, February 3rd. I didn't know the Super Bowl every year was February 3rd. This year, it's the second. Hmm, interesting. Maroon 5, Big Boy and Scott, three artists were there. Uh, good for Big Boy. I'm happy about that. And uh, I got some uh, other stuff coming up for you guys. So enjoy that, and the new video will be up soon. And uh, before we uh, move on to the next video, I just want to point out that this all this information ties into 2001. Two into one. That's another thing that the Twin Towers 9-11 um, promotes. The one world. The people separated into one camps. New world order. All right, so uh, be on, uh, and everybody be on the lookout today for all halftime symbolisms, ads, and all that stuff. And uh, hit me up and give me some uh, info on that. Appreciate you guys. Uh, talk to you soon. Enjoy.